And yet minutes before I'm ready to start preaching, I get a comment towards me that is anything but encouraging. Sharing God's love in the digital world and encouraging others to live by faith. This is Joshua Verwers. Hey y'all, Joshua Verwers back here. We are on what, day 16 of Vlogmas. We're just trucking right along. I'm so glad you could join me. Now, if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then ring the little bell so that way YouTube will notify you each and every time we upload a new video. So this morning we're getting ready to go to church and I'm gonna be preaching our third part in our God With Us series. And yet, I really just want to talk this morning about how we need to be more like Christ. And so, if he's really with us, some of him should be rubbing off to the point that we then become like him. And with that, one of the things that I'm constantly reminded of is how God comforts us. And how that comfort tends to be an encouragement, something that builds us up rather than is tearing us down. And that seems to be kind of a consistent theme that I feel the need to address. Kind of curious what was your sermon at church about today let me know in the comments section below because I do really want to hear about it now to me it was kind of interesting because I'm getting ready to preach this message and a big portion of it is about being encouraging and yet, minutes before I'm ready to start preaching, I get a comment towards me that is anything but encouraging. The hard part about receiving discouraging comments is that you really have no clue what the context is of the person that was giving you that remark. And so, you have no real way of putting yourself in their shoes and getting the full picture. See, for all you know, their cat could have died that morning. And maybe they were just in a bad mood because somebody cut them off pulling into the parking lot. Maybe it was something that you tweeted. I have no idea. I just try my hardest not to take it personal. Just do your best to try to focus on how you're reacting rather than how they acted. Uh, to me, that's what we're supposed to be doing. And Ephesians 4 tells us that, that we're to do everything we possibly can to maintain this unity that we have as brothers and sisters in Christ. And I kind of find it, I don't know, ironic, entertaining, amusing. I'm not quite sure the word that I'm even thinking of, but it's just fascinating to me that the message that I was planning on preaching this morning, in order to be able to preach it, I had to actually practice it immediately before then. I had to do everything I could in my power to try to maintain unity and to do so with peace. Now, if you happen to be one of those people that you've let out one of those critical comments, here's my suggestion to you. I mean, if there's even an inkling inside you that thinks, man, maybe I upset them, maybe that was harsh, go tell them you're sorry. You shouldn't be harsh with your brothers and sisters in Christ. Instead, we're supposed to encourage one another, bear with one another, and love one another. I hope you found that message encouraging, even though, who knows, you may have found it discouraging. But the reason I want to put that out there is so that we will all strive 
to maintain the unity that we have as Christians, we need to lift one another up and we really need to be a source of encouragement rather than discouragement. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so by clicking right here. I've also got the entire Vlogmas playlist ready to go right up here. And YouTube's got something they would recommend for you to watch right here. Now until tomorrow, I just want you all to stay blessed and enjoy God's best.